This is Lemon Hope Part 2. <laughs> the hell am I supposed to think about this episode? <laughs> So he comes across, I will say this, I will never, I forgot it. Yep. I was just go. about to say, I will never forget this. Flannel Boxing Day? Yes, I think so. Okay, I actually got it, yes. yes. You forgot Rattle Balls. But I remember boxing Flannel days. Boxing Day. No, because it was so <laughs> strange, I had to repeat it in my head a couple times to make sure I heard it right. And then we said it again, I'm like, yeah, God, that was it, Flannel Boxing Day. So... Yeah. It's weird, but if you told me, like, my name's Joe, you're like, I'll forget that a second. Yeah. So, very weird. But he comes did. across this guy who, um, forget what. Exactly. So he comes across this guy in the cloud. Uh, again, very Mario Brothers. Um, you know, I, I keep wanting to see him throw those spiky things. Luck, what? too. Yes. Oh, yes. Right, that's his name. Yes. Uh, so it comes down and says, oh, I've been watching you, and I'll sort of take care of you. You want to be my apprentice? I kill these uh, whale things that... Uh, you know, eat a whole bunch of treasures and stuff, and then I keep the treasures. And so he says, yes, and goes on board, and they're flying around. But he keeps having these dreams, those really uh, surreal uh, black background dreams. And he asks why, and Flannel says, it's probably because you're feeling bad. You should go back and help them if, you know, you want to get rid of the dream. So he agrees, goes back, he defeats uh, Lemongrad, defeats him with the music. Um, and the place is free. And finally, Bubblegum offers uh, him a chance to come back to the kingdom and, I forget, to rule it or just be in it? Just be the champion. Yeah, just to just be, be the champion. champion. Yeah. And he goes, nah, I just kind of came back so I'd stop thinking about you guys. I guess I'll come back when I start thinking about you again. You know, it might be a thousand years or so. Later, peace, and walks out. You know, pretty much just a big anti-joke. Or, or a joke that's building up to one thing gives you something else. But then we cut to presumably a thousand years later, just some time in the future, uh, and he goes back to his room, and he goes to sleep. Um, I'll say this, I, even though it might be misplaced or maybe not, I don't know, I like the tone, actually, the whole bit with, uh, like, the dreams and the, uh, uh, and the song at the end and cutting to years later and him going back, I'm saying, like, there's... There is something strong in here, but it's not its not fully realized, but it's like, it's in there somewhere. You know, sort of like the atmosphere and uh, all that w was heavy, but it's still Lemon Hope. It's still not <laughs> that interesting a character. Um, and I don't know, if they could... You know, if they did the same story with, say, Flame Princess, this would be heartbreaking. Like, that mm -hmm. ending, I would just be like... Oh, like, oh my god, it wasn't just for a reason, like, yeah, I'll just come back whenever. Uh, you know, it, it'd be some other reason why she had to leave and come back when she's ready or something, or she feels she's ready. Something along those lines. Um, so it's like, on the one hand, I, I admire elements of it, you know, that there's good setups in there. But, yeah, I, I think because it's Lemon Hope and it's just not as strong a story, I don't feel it totally paid off, but I... I'm still glad I saw some of that stuff, because like I said, I, I did sort of dig uh, the kind of different tone that it was going there. And Adventure Time could get really dark. Yeah. Um, but I will say this also that made me realize, because, you know, we always say, I can't believe these are 11 minutes, you know, and with these last two, I was saying to myself, boy, it, it feels like it's 11 minutes in, like, kind of the worst way, because you feel like, boy, they tried to cram a lot into it and everything's kind of backwards and front. well this this was supposed to feel like this if we had more time or if we did this different or whatever uh and it did make me appreciate even more how much they do fit in and how much it is emotionally satisfying majority of the time yeah um because yeah because i was watching it's like i'm saying this should hit me like the pacing of this you know like especially the ending was you know pretty adult but it just was not the right character and possibly not even the right story. So, um, yeah, again, that's sort of my same thought of the first one, I guess. Just very, very mixed. I'll be back in one moment. No, this is not some strange leaving. <laughs> okay. Uh, you go ahead. You want to hear I what I have to say. <laughs> um, I enjoyed the dream sequences. I actually, that's about the only thing I enjoyed about it. Um, 
I, this one was boring to me. Uh, and I think part of it is because I really can't stand Lemon Hope that I just don't care. So if I don't care, my mind wanders because I just, I don't care. Um, I, Do I agree care? with you a lot when you say maybe if it was a different character, this could be so much more. I, I agree with you 100%. I think that's what they were going for. But for whatever reason, Lemon Hope isn't doing it for me. It's not doing it for you. Um, that whole singing thing, I mean, it was okay, and it probably means so much more, but I think the issue for me personally is that I just don't like it, and I checked out, like, halfway through. <laughs> so by the time we get to the song, and it was like, oh, do it, no, never mind, and it's like she finally sings, and it's like, oh. God, yes, okay. I know. <laughs> you were and just then, you're just ready to call it see just, the end go by. It, it, it didn't feel like eleven minutes. It felt like forever for me. Mm. It really did. And then the song dragged for me. And and it and I think a lot of it has to do with I just don't like Lemon Hope and I don't care. Um and the song Whatever. <laughs> it, this whole episode is whatever. I feel like this was a two-parter. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, I was kind of thinking that too. Like, really? This is what we devoted a, a big two-part? Yes! You know, e even that season finale with Finn's arm being removed and the alternate dimension and stuff, at, le at least the first half of that was like, whoa, what's going on? And then the second half, we're like, eh. It's like this one, it's like, I started went in and left, eh. <laughs> yeah, but e even even with that, that second part, which you didn't like very much, it's still, you could, I don't know, it just felt more complete it felt like it it had this great big purpose right now there may be a purpose i see no purpose other than to introduce an annoying effing character <laughs> i i don't know i i hope we never see him again <laughs> but i but i feel like we're gonna see him i feel like this was the big reveal to say ha ha here's a new main character um I don't think I have to, I have to disagree. Yeah, I was gonna say it, it looked very much like you know like he's dead and gone at the end on it. Like they gave him his ending. Well, not just that, but like he left and he does not come back mm. until that point yeah. in time. I think no, they created a character they didn't know what the hell to do with, so they had to kind of come up with some way to close it out. Again, it, it felt like another closing or something. I like was just that. thinking that it, the the past couple have felt like these, like they're trying to be these really big, uh, uh, like you said, closing narratives for some of these characters. And it's like, yeah, did they think this was like the last season or something? No, I don't or? think it was that because, as I found out, thanks to the guys on the forum or on the comment section, like, no, right after the season ended, the next season opened. Mm. Huh. Like they they keep going, so they they knew. But I think it was more along the lines of, okay, we're done with Flame Princess and Finn. We're closing it out. We're not going to deal with that, at least for a while. We're done with Lemon Hope. We're going to close that out. Like, I think they were just kind of closing the door on some characters that they don't plan on going back to for a while. Mm. And so, therefore, fans aren't going, well, wait, what about Blank? True. They, well, but, but there's so many unanswered things still in Adventure Time. I mean, honestly, I, I think... I would think just people be used to it. I mean, I'm used to it. There's like a million unanswered things. I'm just sort of like, okay, yeah, no, this, I understand. It takes its time. It'll just deliver it whenever it wants to, and it'll probably be a really funny punchline or, or joke or whatever when they do it. But people aren't as patient as you. Well. You have to remember that. Well, fuck them! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's nothing wrong. I don't think that there's anything wrong with them closing off, you know, some of the doors. I, I just... The only thing that bothers me is that we had to have two episodes to close this stupid door that no one even wanted to peek through. Excuse me, that I never even wanted to bother peeking through, much less leave open. So, as far as I'm concerned, it was closed from the beginning. Why we wasted two episodes to close Lemon Hope off was a waste. Was a complete waste. Fire, uh, fire, Flame Princess would have been a really nice, you know, two-parter. They could have done something with that. I mean, Betty, for God's sakes, could have been. That's that what I was going to say. Been. Why did we get, like, one episode with yeah. Betty, which felt incredibly cramped and forced together, but we got two dragged-out episodes of Lemon Hope. Um, yeah. 
No, I I actually completely agree. I actually, that oh, I, I'm saying just with what you just said there, because like again, you know, I was thinking like how they would slowly fade into the dreams and fade out. It was so disturbing. I thought, God, if they had those dreams or something similar in the Betty episode and they made it two parts, so God, good. that would have been. I mean. I like yeah. I would have been there. I would have been. I mean, I, I like that episode yeah. anyway. But it's like I would have been there that. even more. <laughs> no, actually, I mean, as many problems as I did have with Betty, Betty was actually a very interesting episode, mm -hmm. and I wish there was more with Betty. But if I like, there's Betty. Betty's gone. Mm -hmm. But where it's like, oh, here's Lemon Hope and Lemon Hope and Lemon Hope, mm -hmm. and guess what? He's there for a thousand years later. It's like <gasps> yippee, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Um. I, I don't know, I just... Lemon Hope is a very... When I say he's an unlikable character, like, there's selfish characters. And there's characters who don't care about what's going on. Jake can be selfish. Yeah. Jake can be kind of like, whatever, I don't really care. But the way he still deals with things, the way he does every once in a while, like, he'll be like, I don't want to do that. But I will because I really care about Finn. Mm. You know, he yeah. has these emotions, like... Are they showing that it doesn't matter what happens, lemon people are going to be lemon people? And that no matter how much you try to, like, change them or, you know, however, however much they try to change, it's not going to matter. All they're going to care about is themselves. I mean... I mean, he still I made the idea is, like, you see, he does come back. Even if it's years and years later, he does come back. I guess that's what they're trying to say at some point, you know, that actual you know, sort of jump for finding that humanity, like, hey, I do care, and I want to find home where I came from, and appreciate it again, or whatever is there, but it's in a character you don't care about, and you don't yeah. see any of that longing or anything, um, and I don't know, there's gotta be a little bit more of a balance in there, where it's, I mean, if you want to, like you said, it, Jay can be very selfish, he usually is, but there's still this element of there are things he cares about, mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and, and we'll sacrifice and we'll go to, you know, it's just finding them out and sort of even him going through that deduction of discovering what he really cares about. Yeah. Um, Speaking you know. of, I miss Jake. Yeah, I feel like it's kind of, I, I feel like I miss Finn almost, too. It's yeah. like through a lot of these, it's like, yeah, it's mainly the side characters. Yeah. Um, the last things I want to bring up, for one, I felt with this one especially, the lack of time I felt was terrible. Um... The last episode, he was pathetic. He was all alone. He was a child. This episode, all of a sudden, he's kind of grown up, and now he wants to help his people. How much time has passed? Well, the uh, flannel guy says something about the last, you know, this is the third time in the last week or something. So yeah, but you've had a dream, though. Yeah, so you can kind of get an idea of, well, it's been at least two to three weeks, at least, if not months. He's had time to gain back, you know... Yeah, I never made the assumption he's, stuff. like, growing up, like, like but years that's, or anything. But that's my thing. But instantaneously, in, in about a month, all of a sudden, he grows up. Mm, yeah. A month beforehand, he was knocking things over, saying, I don't really care, I'm gonna do whatever the hell I want to, and now all of a sudden... Do, 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 I want to go help my people. I don't think that's the case at all. I don't think he wanted to help the people to help the people. Oh, well, yeah, yeah okay. People. He did that for his own selfish reasons. I can't stop having these stupid nightmares. Well, you're having your nightmares because your subconscious is telling you that you owe these people something. How do I make it stop? Help them. Okay, I'm helping them because... I don't want nightmares anymore. He's not helping them because he feels bad or he wants to help them. He's helping them because he wants his nightmares to go away. So I don't feel like he grew up at all. Well, I'll say okay. that if you're, if you're going to go so dark, yeah, dark is fine. I mean, but if you're going to go so dark, you have to have some, yeah, um, you have to have the emotion to balance it out or a character who is emotional enough or caring enough to balance it out because when you have that ending where... They say, would you like to be here and, and, and be our champion? And he goes, nope. And it's pretty much just a, a joke. It's a joke, you know. Mm -hmm. It's, wow, I really thought he was going to say yes. They're explaining the joke. Yeah. Even. But then we're going to have the serious ending right after. I'm like, no, you can't do that. Yeah. You have to sort of pick one that you're mostly going to be. And it, it was trying to do both. And a lot of times Adventure Time can do that. It can do it very well. But that's because at the core there's somebody that you care about. Even the one with that ice monster and, and the little yeah. fire dog. And stuff. They never spoke, but by God, yeah. I want to know what was going to happen to mm -hmm. them. 
You know, I mean, it's establishing that connection. I think there was nothing to connect with with yeah. Lemonhead. Yeah. Um, you know, they're trying to st they're trying to tell like pretty much the story of Moses without identifying with Moses at all, just replacing him with this jerk. <laughs> He's just a jerk who cares about nothing, and it's like. That story would not be as impressive if just the whole thing, let my people go. Why? I just don't want to think about them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not really as grand because a story. Because they're giving me nightmares. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just not as big a story. Um, yeah. You know, and I think that's... Like, I, if it would have ended with him being like, eh, maybe I'll come back in a thousand years. Peace. I'd been like... Okay, like, that would have actually given me a chuckle. That would have made me laugh, but you're right. It goes right into the whole kind of song thing, and it's like, okay, this is fine. I'm okay with this, yeah. but that was kind of unbalanced. Yeah, it's like, I, I would have loved that at the ending of another episode. It, it, it felt like that song, to me, felt like the blooper reel. Like the deleted scenes. Or like the fan fiction written right after. I <laughs> See, I, I disagree with that, mm -hmm. but... What I did like, for one, the, for some reason the song reminded me of Jill Sobule. No, I don't know the way she, the I way love she Jill Sobule. The way she was singing. Like the voice, it sounded like it. But, okay, you're going to have to rewatch it, Doug, because you probably didn't catch it. Did you catch uh, Finn and Jake's tree? The tree? No. That giant tree? That was Finn and Jake's tree. And if you look on one of the branches, there is Finn's backpack. That That is the one thing I was going to say, too. It was cool just... Seeing the future, it's like that's kind of and it and it was bittersweet because it's it's grand and big, but it's also kind of gray. Yeah. Well, yeah, but there's Finn and Jake's tree, massive towering into the sky. Uh, candy Kingdom was also there. That city he was going through was the Candy Kingdom. I was gonna say, yeah, oh, that's okay. why I was looking at that. Like, I sort of assumed it was Candy King because I sort of saw the Candy Cane uh, uh, fence and stuff. <laughs> but at the same time, it's like, yeah, it's interesting because it is bittersweet because it's still really big and it's sort of turned into like a modern day city but it's just so colorless and yeah. It's like, yeah that alone was so much more intriguing than any of the arc that lemon or <laughs> yeah. Lemon was going through yeah. well, it's like i i just love to know like you know just wow what is gonna happen in the future yeah. Yeah. like i didn't catch and it's so funny i caught that that tree was been in jake's and i caught uh. the little tiny backpack but i didn't catch in the background of the city is the actual old candy kingdom uh uh jim was the one who pointed that out to me, actually. Mm. He's like, hey, I'm like, oh, duh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> but I like seeing the future of what is going to be coming. It looks like a war happened. Because mm. there's a bunch of planes crashed with the three piece. it's three pieces of uh, candy corn. Mm. So it looks like another war happens. Yeah. And I'm so curious about that. And I could care less about Lemon Grab. Yeah, I mean, that, that is... Or not the... Lemon Grab, sorry. Lemon Hope. Yeah, I keep getting mixed up. They're essentially the same annoyance. But um, my other question before I'm done. How do they eat? Who? Well, okay, how long has he had his brother in his stomach? I mean, he's yet to digest him. So how can they be starving? Know. How can you erase something from his brain with an eraser? It's like... Let's, let's try it on you. No. Actually, that'd be a lot of fun. No, don't do that. Yes, please. You know, Brie has an eraser collection. Don't the get your eraser collection, okay? Do not do, do not get up. Do not go <laughs> into your room. Yeah, like it's do not grab the eraser. Do not point that gun at me. <laughs>